What's going on everybody? My name is Jack. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I upload daily content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. Today we're talking about $100 a day in passive income, how to earn it as a content creator. Totally transparent. There is one way that I personally have established a over $100 a day income and that is YouTube. And today I'm going to be focusing on that. Also, talking about the possibility of other affiliate marketing type of stuff and uh, some other potential passive income streams that I'm trying to set up now. But um, obviously here we talk about what we've done so that I can effectively give good advice. So I'm really only going to be talking mainly about how to build an income through YouTube, one that is, uh, you know, sort of passive. Now, passive is uh, a trigger word on the internet, right? Because uh, <laughs> a lot of people hate pa the, the idea of passive income. This idea, um, you know, that you could just do nothing and, and make money. That's definitely not what this is. Um, kind of. So what passive income is through YouTube is the fact that you can sit down. Maybe you plan the video for 30 minutes. You record it for 10 minutes. You edit it for an hour. You're, you're dealing with what? An hour, uh, you know, an hour, 40 minutes or something like that of production time. And you could get paid off that video for months, if not years going forward. I have videos that every single month make me hundreds of dollars a month that I only sat down and recorded the video for 10 minutes. Might have, like I said, might've planned it for 30 minutes, might've edited it for an hour. It's a small production time, like maybe not even a two hour full production time. And I've been making hundreds of dollars a month pa passively since then, but you still have to put that work in originally, right? I even have one video that's making me like over a thousand dollars a month, which again, I sat down, planned it for 30 minutes, recorded it for 10 minutes, edited it for an hour. And now I've been making over a thousand dollars a month every month uh, since that video came out. So that's where the passive side comes. But also, you know, you have to do work. Passive income comes around this event that you can do that then just sort of pays you dividends. I don't even know if that's the right word lingo wise, but it pays you out every month going forward or every, every week going forward, whatever, technically every day. It's just, you only get one paycheck per week. And, uh, honestly, in my opinion, YouTube is hands down the single best. I'll repeat that again. The single best way for video content creators to make passive income. Uh, it probably won't happen that quick. It's definitely not something that could just be turned on. But if you're into this, uh, you know, video stuff for the long game, personally, I'm definitely in it for the long game. I've been going for 10 years since I was a little 10 year old making videos on Windows Live Movie Maker. Am I going to be here at 30? Fucking certainly as you know, I've enjoyed it for 10 years, probably going to enjoy it for another. So I'm invested in video as a content creator. I think YouTube is the best possible way to create a passive income through video. And uh, that's my little spiel. Let's get to the nitty and the gritty, right? 100% this is my main source of passive income, right? Now, I would definitely describe myself as a full-time YouTuber as well. So it could be argued that it's not passive, but like I said, that's my equation to you is yes, I'm making videos every day, but uh, my total income is built up of loads of little videos making me money. So you, you know, like the way you build up the big income every month is fucking hundreds of videos making 10 bucks a month, a hundred bucks a month, 45 bucks a month, all that type of stuff. Right. And all those videos, it kind of like makes your time work for you. Almost you sit down, you put that two hours into a video. Again, I'm um, that's judging on what I put into my video. You might put 10 minutes, you might put 10 hours, you might put 15 hours, depending on the type of content you make. Uh, you, you kind of, you put that time into a video and you get paid going forward. Right. Which is, which is awesome. It obviously makes it, uh, you know, just a little bit more, um, what's the right word here? Just smart, I guess. Working smart rather than working hard. Obviously, you still got to work hard. And um, honestly, I have multiple videos making me hundreds of dollars a month. Like I said, I have one video making me over $1,000 a month. And it's been that way for over six months with this one video making me over $1,000 a month. So I sat down for 10 minutes. I recorded it for an hour uh, or I edited it for an hour. And now we get paid every month going forward. Like that to me is a hilarious... Um, not even hilarious, just like a no brainer. Like, Oh wow. Awesome. This is great. This can make my time work for me. And, uh, overall how to make a hundred dollars a day passively, uh, YouTube 100%. I would start creating content based around YouTube. Now it's easier said than it's done, right? So, you, you know, start creating content around YouTube. Wow. Jack, what a fucking brain blower right there. <laughs> Never said that a day in my life. Um, <laughs> uh, two seconds. I'm going to sip from my canned water. Ah, that was a great sip from my canned water. Anyways, 
Uh, to actually efficiently do this, ideally, you want to get yourself into a, a topic of interest where you can make a thousand videos around this topic, right? I'm 500, 600 videos in, something like that, to this type of content, which is the, you know, video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. And um, I can make easily another 500 videos. I make another 1,500, you know what I mean? So I'm in, I'm, I'm, I'm in an area of interest. Uh, I'm in a topic where I know a lot about it uh, and also... I'm a full-time freelancer. I'm a full-time, well, actually the past month I haven't been, but you know, every month for the past two years before this month, um, I've been a full-time freelancer. So I have hands-on experience. Uh, you know, content sort of just makes itself when you're making content about what your, you know, your life is about more or less. So, you know, that that's essentially um, essential. To be honest, it's essentially essential because, uh, you know, if you're making content about something you know a little bit about or that you don't really know that much about, but you're just trying to get to the money, inevitably you won't be able to make compelling enough, uh, value providing enough content that will lead you to build up enough of an audience that will actually be able to create a passive income for you later down the line. And, uh, you know, that's a no brainer, right? So first off, keep that as the barrier of entry. So you have to first be creating content that you actually, you know, know about the topic and create can create loads of videos going forward into the future based around this topic, right? Uh, next up is just be very consistent with it, okay? So you want to be uploading. For me, I've uploaded every single day for the past eight months, nine months, something like that. Hell, at the end of September in two months. So 10 months I've uploaded every single day there's been a YouTube video every single day without failure, right? So that's extreme consistency. I'm now at the point where I'm making nearly $4,000 a month on YouTube. I was making $400 a month before I even went into this daily mode. So at the end of the day, you know, um, you get back what you put in just like anything else. So I think, uh, you know, if you've picked a topic of interest that you're enjoying and uh, overall you have plenty of content that can be made. Also, you know, content just creates itself if you're creating content about something that you're living every day, right? So for example, I'm sick the other month, right? Boom, how to handle sick days as a freelancer. I made a video in fucking bed talking about that, right? So content brews itself, it just appears. Videos just appear to me, right? So it's great, you know? And my audience is obviously interested in that. Therefore, you know, I can make a video sat in bed sick and say, you know, this is how I handle days as a freelancer when I'm fucking sick. And um, content comes to you. So choosing a topic that you are, you know, are living, very passionate about, and obviously if you're doing it on a daily basis, say you're making videos about skateboarding, I don't know, something random, right? Uh, you know, if you're doing it on a daily basis, videos will just create themselves. And, um, you know, it's a lot of those videos that create create themselves for you that go on to pay you money down the road, right? So $100 a day in passive income as a content creator. YouTube is the best shout. I know I've said that a couple times now. I'm just trying to recap in my own brain because, uh, you know, just to, to see where I have, kind of need to need to fill in the gaps right here in, in, in order, you know, for you to retain the most, the most value from this video. And uh, overall, I think to do something around a topic of interest is a no brainer. It enables you to actually, you know, create plenty of content. But also the reality is it's gotta be something that is, you know, actually accepted, I guess you could say. Not even accepted, um, sought after. There you go. So if you're making videos about how to paint snails backs, you know, that's pretty random. But like, you know, there's somebody on YouTube we can safely assume doing it right there doing little polka dots and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, you know, it's probably going to take you a while to make passive income from that shit because there's just not that much of a demand for uh, painted snail back videos. Now, I could be totally, you know, I made this up, right? So this could be the biggest up, up and coming niche on YouTube. I don't even know. I might be quitting the video production shit to fucking join the snail painting community after this video goes up. We don't even know, right? But at the end of the day, I'm going to assume it's not very popular. Therefore, if you start doing that, you're probably not going to be able to create that much of a passive income. Uh, at the end of the day, the, the passive side of this revolves around you being able to make videos which are searchable and appearing on the search results. Therefore, you know, people can find them for months, if not years going forward. And also that's, thank God, there we go. I've thought of this as well, is uh, making timeless type of content, right? So that's crucial right here. I, honestly, I should have fucking put that in some planning on the on the laptop. Um, somehow that missed me, but, uh, you know, making almost timeless content. Now, Content, you know, won't be watched in a hundred years, probably. My content probably won't be, but will it be watched in five? Yes. Will it be watched in ten? Potentially, you know. I don't know. Maybe there's been too many updates to, to premiere at that point. You know what? Fuck this old old dude. But uh, <laughs> for in five years, they'll be watching my videos for sure. Why not? Right. So at the end of the day, it's timeless content. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, it's not timeless. Timeless. Where in a hundred years, people will be fucking tuning in. But well, we don't actually know that, to be real. So we can safely assume that 
It could be. Fuck it. I don't know. But fuck it. My content's timeless. 100 years from now, the fucking Martians are watching it. There's not a chance that they're not. Um, <laughs> uh, but at the end of the day, right, timeless content and also searchable content. That's going to deliver you your traffic source, right? So for example, the video that's making me over a grand a month every single month for the past six months is the top three best free video editing software, over 1.6 million views. Obviously, by the title, we could tell this is a sought-after topic, the top three best free video editing software. It's got a whole bunch of trigger words, like the top three free uh, video editing software is a huge keyword on YouTube. Um, and overall, that's a super searchable video, which means I have a very uh, easy to understand funnel to my video via the search result. That's crucial as well, right? So all my videos making me hundreds of dollars a month for videos that are searchable and they're findable off the search results. And uh, you know, that's obviously crucial as well. But that right there is my thoughts on making $100 a day in passive income as a content creator. I'm doing it. I make about $150 a day, something like that. Uh, on YouTube and um, you know, it's been going like that for more or less the entire of 2019. Actually, no, maybe only the past three months, four months or something like that. Hooray. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the video. I've been Jack. If you enjoyed and you're new here, subscribe for daily content based around video ed <laughs> What did I just fucking say? Video editing, videography and how to make money making videos. Subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. I've been Jack. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next video. Later.